Bonjour tout le monde, c'est Michel. Bienvenue à mon channel. Aujourd'hui, je parle de mon avis de le produit Violette FR Boom Boom Milk. Hey everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a review on Violette FR's Boom Boom Milk. If you recalled my video last year, I hauled a lot of Violette FR products, essentially the whole line at the time when it was released, including the Boom Boom Milk. And I went ahead and repurchased a second bottle since that video. I featured the empty in my 2022 winter skincare empties. I did do a blog post review on this product and I do have some clip aways of me using the product as well as up close of the packaging and all that jazz. I did get a little bit lazy for filming so that's why this review has taken quite a while to be posted but I figured no better time than the present. Especially recently, I noticed Violette FR released a travel size of the Boom Boom Milk as well as a refill. And there's also an update on the spray bottle. So I thought I would go ahead and sit down to film a review for you all. So having said that, let's get into the review. I'm going to read a snippet of the description of the Boom Boom Milk from Violette FR's official website. It is described as a three-in-one skincare product with clinical results. We formulated the efficacy and elegance of French pharmacy skincare into a single spray that acts as your toner, serum, and moisturizer all in one. The soft milky formula offers instant hydration and soothing and under makeup c'est parfait but our clinical studies show long-term results in tone texture and firmness too i purchased two bottles of the 100 milliliter size which retails for 64 dollars us dollars a pop and the travel size here is 50 ml so half the size at 43 us dollars Honestly, just from this price alone, I would just go ahead and get the 100 ml one because it seems to be a better value and just decant it in a smaller spray bottle that you already have. So I read that on the website. On my blog post, I listed the price for the 100 ml bottle was at 58 US dollars. So it did go up in price by six US dollars. Keep note of that. And packaging wise, as you see in the clip aways, it's a clear plastic spray bottle with a frosted gold cap and her logo is on the top of that cap. Let's move on to the ingredients. Two of the key ingredients that Violette FR highlights in the Boom Boom Milk is glacier water and fermented birch sap. So from what I recall, the glacier water is the base of the formula. I believe it's sourced from Iceland and I'm under the assumption that the properties of this glacial water is more or less similar to some of the thermal waters that you can find in French pharmacy skincare. I actually really like the Aven thermal water. I think it does a great job at soothing my skin. So that's my impression of the glacial water. For the fermented birch sap that makes up around 38% of the formula. I either read this on their website, saw it in one of her videos, but that was the number I remember and what I wrote down in my blog post. And also in Violette FR's video about her products, she described the fermented birch sap as the go-to drink for French people when they want to detoxify from a night out. And while that is nice to hear, fermented birch sap does not detox your face. Fortunately, Korean skincare has already went down the route of birch sap. If you recall, Cosrx's birch sap moisturizer or lotion, just as an example. But in the case of Violet FR's fermented birch sap, just think of it as more amplified benefits from regular birch sap. So the benefits of birch sap from what I gathered is that it's rich in probiotics when fermented. It's soothing, contains amino acids, vitamins, and minerals. So it's overall a nice different kind of humectant to have in your skincare product. And the fermentation in general boosts the nutritional properties of that ingredient. Overall, my thoughts when it comes to the glacial water and fermented birch sap in the Boom Boom Milk, they're nice alternatives to have as opposed to distilled water, 
when it comes to formulating a skincare product and using some type of watery vehicle. The third highlighted ingredient in Violette FR's Boom Boom Milk is the olive leaf extract, which is supposed to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. However, there are other extracts in the formula I noticed with similar benefits. One of them, which is a bit more popular, is horse chestnut extract. So it's also antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and wound healing. There's also calendula extract, also anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, and camellia sinensis leaf extract, so green tea extract. And as we all know, it is an antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's also antibacterial. So it's a nice ingredient for those of us with acne prone skin in general. And even then the whole soothing aspect of this formula is nice for those of us with acne prone skin. Those are the other extracts in the formula that I find have really good skin benefits. There's also a handful of some lovely moisturizing ingredients as well. So glycerin, which is a star humectant naturally occurring in our skin. There's also emollients in the formula like caprylic or a capric triglyceride, sunflower seed oil, and squalane. Arthrosperia platensis extract, as well as tocopherol, which is vitamin E, show up in the formula as well as some nice antioxidants. That's it for Violette FR Boom Boom Milk's highlighted ingredients. As you've just heard, it's a nice concoction of moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant ingredients. Definitely a nice product with a bunch of these supportive ingredients, especially if you are using a strong active in your skincare routine. For myself, that would be tretinoin. Moving on to my experience with the products, let's start with the application and texture. So my bottle, last time I used it in first spritz, it's quite an aggressive spritz. It's not a nice fine mist that disperses evenly on your skin like some other mists I've tried in the past. And Overall, I really did not like that spritzer. That was one of the main things about the packaging I did not like as well as the leakage. But what I read in the post about the Boom Boom Milk new size releases is that they also replaced the mister and it's supposed to be a lot more finer. If you have tried the Boom Boom Milk with the newer packaging, please let us know in the comments down below how it's faring compared to the older packaging. Because for the most part, I found the product itself very lovely, but I felt the mister did not do it justice. Mister aside, the texture of the Boom Boom Milk really reminded me of Laneige's Cream Skin Refiner. So for those of you that are more into Korean skincare, you probably have already heard about Laneige's Cream Skin Refiner. There's that kombucha cream toner thing that is also really popular that has a similar texture. But anyways, texture wise, that is exactly what the Violette FR Boom Boom Milk's texture reminded me of. In the bottle, it looks thin, rather milky, but after application, it provided quite the moisturizing finish, which I personally like as someone with a drier skin type or skin that gets easily sensitized to drying environments. While the finish was very similar to Laneige's Cream Skin Refiner, I found the Violette FR Boom Boom Milk to sink into my skin better and I noticed a soothing effect from it. Because I did not really like the spritzer how I usually used the Violette FR Boom Boom Milk in my skincare routine was applying a few spritzes to the palm of my hand and massaging it all over my face and neck. I actually did just this in my 2021 summer skincare routine video. Another way that I used the Boom Boom Milk just to test it was over makeup. And the third way I used the Boom Boom Milk was by decanting it into a smaller spritzer bottle and I would take it with me to the beach. So anytime I would come out of the seawater and my face was feeling a little bit dry, I would spray some of the Boom Boom Milk on. And I found the last two ways, which is spritzing over makeup as well as at the beach were the best ways to use this product. I didn't really care to use it in my skincare routine as much. I found it really benefited my skin when I needed to re-moisturize throughout the day. That is it for my experience with Violette FR's Boom Boom Milk. Now moving on to my final thoughts, the pros, the cons, and the in-between feels. So let's start out with the pros. First things first, I really like that this formula is gentle. Unlike the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, which just served as an additional moisturizing step in my skincare routine. 
I really do like the calming effect that comes with the Boom Boom Milk and I'm pretty sure that's what Violette was going for in the first place with this product. From what I remember, after a long day of applying and reapplying makeup on models, their skin being just sore from all the cleansing and reapplying, this is supposed to be the product that you can go to when your skin just needs to feel calmed and refreshed. Another pro about this product is I do find it is a multi-use product in the sense that I could use it as a toner if I wanted, maybe layer it a little bit more like a serum or as a re-moisturizing step throughout the day, which is how I personally liked using it the best. Another pro about this product, and mind you, this was at the time when this was first released, was that Violette wanted to conduct clinical trials on the Boom Boom Milk because she was receiving feedback from people with certain skin conditions that it was really calming and healing their skin. So she wanted to conduct clinical trials. Now, from what I recall reading on the website, it says three in one skincare with clinical results. So I'm not sure if a clinical test actually came out with this product. If I find it, I'll leave it in the description box down below. Either way, if there were clinical trials or not, just keep in mind that it is going to be biased because it sounds like Violet FR, the brand, is going to be sponsoring the clinical trial itself. So just keep that in mind if that study is actually released. That is it for the pros. Now moving on to the cons. So at the time when I tried Violet FR's Boom Boom Milk, one of the cons was the spritzer. I did not like how direct it was, how aggressive. But like I said in the latest Instagram post, Violet FR mentioned that the spritzer has been updated to produce a finer mist. So if you've tried it, once again, let us know in the comments down below how it is compared to the older packaging. The second major con, not just about Violet FR's Boom Boom Milk, but the brand in general is the shipping. At the time when I purchased a bunch of products from them, it was rather pricey. And when I last spoke with my friend about buying Violet FR in general, because it's still not available in all of the EU to purchase, so I haven't been able to try anything else from Violet FR since or repurchase the Boom Boom Milk. Apparently the shipping got more expensive. So considering the increase in shipping costs as well as the price jump for the product in general, I would say the purchase is up to you. For me overall, I did get benefits from the products. I did like the texture and the spritzer, you know, they replaced it and I personally decanted it into another bottle. So that wasn't a problem for me, but Price-wise, it, it is going to be up to you whether or not you really want to try it and to support Violette in general. I have not seen the price of the 500 ml pack. Once I see that and get an idea of the shipping cost, maybe I would consider picking it up again. But right now, Violette FR does not even ship to the part of the European Union I'm in right now. So either way, I'm not repurchasing it. But in general, I do hope this video helps those of you watching out whether or not you were deciding to pick up the Violet FR Boom Boom Milk, especially considering the $6 price jump. If you did find this review helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel down below for future videos, leave a comment if you have any questions, recommendations for other products that sound similar to the Violet FR Boom Boom Milk. If you've tried the Boom Boom Milk with the latest packaging, I would love to read about it. So once again, let me know in the comments down below. That is it for this video. See you all soon. Ciao.